had a bit of a faux pas there. <laughs> oh dear. Hi guys, welcome. Welcome to the Nikolai Wild Instagram. And welcome to another episode of Meet the Nikolai Retailer. If you're new to these streams, they happen on a frequent basis and we're taking you to see all the many Nikolai retailers across America. Showing you their stores, talking about their journey, their favorite products, what they offer, the services they offer. And today we're gonna to be joined by SF Dance Gear, which is a dance store based in San Francisco. Um, I've been to San Fran before, but only for two days, unfortunately. Um, so we're gonna get uh, SF Dancewear up now. So let's just click the button, one moment. Hi, Mr. Grishko. Hi, Eleanor. Hi, you're live. Hello. <laughs> Hello, and what's your name, by the way? I didn't get your name before. Rose. Oh, cool. Um, so do you want to introduce yourself and your store and how long you've been open and where you're located and stuff like that? Yeah, so my name is Rose and this is SF Dance Gear in San Francisco. We've been open um, only coming up on two years now. So we're a relatively new store uh -huh. um, for the area. Uh, there had been a store that had been open for years and years that I could work there. And then they, they closed, the owners retired and... I thought, gosh, dancers need a spot to go. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I worked on opening up a, a brand new store here. Um, and here it is, brand new location and everything. We've got uh, lots of leotards and warm-ups. We've got the tights. And great, uh, some big stuff. Uh huh. And we've got the tutus, skirts, beautiful skirts, long skirts, short skirts. Everybody likes a good addition of a skirt. Absolutely. Um, and then all your basics for uh, underneath costumes. Mm -hmm. And gosh, a uh, ton of stuff. But we also uh, have some specialty gear, like we've got a you know foot stretcher, your accessories, um, a roller stick. Everybody needs one of those. Oh yeah, they're so very helpful. handy actually. <laughs> Absolutely. And then, um, I mean, our our specialty is all the styles of shoes that we have. We've got tons of styles of ballet slippers of all colors. We've got mm -hmm. pink, white, black shades of skin tone. Little Fabulous. Shoes. Character shoes, tap shoes, wow. booties, dance sneakers, jazz shoes. Great. <laughs> got a lot. And even some ballroom shoes, which is a tough niche to get into. Oh, but yeah, for sure. Our ballroom shoes are uh, expanding. So we're uh -huh. looking for that. That's at really least cool. until this uh, shelter in place gets lifted. Because, you know, right now I'm here in my store, but it's just myself and my partner who's yeah, on yeah. the camera. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we, we've had to close for this really tough situation. So uh, it's, it's, it's been pretty hard. To, of course. Have you guys been doing, um, have well, you guys, that... have you guys been doing any like mail order or um, pick up at mm -hmm. curbside and stuff like that as well whilst we're in yes, lockdown? Yes, we have our, our website up and running sfdancegear.com cool. and uh, dancers can go on there to order. Um, right now we're offering free shipping over $50. Use promo code free ship, all one word. Um, but for our local dancers here in San Francisco and the Bay Area close by um, within driving distance, um, I've been able to uh, actually drop off directly to their oh, home. Oh, great. So Excellent. You know, needs an order um, that, you know, they're close by, I'm able to just drive around and drop it off right at their door. Perfect. A new thing for this situation. <laughs> I know, and, right? Uh, it's crazy. Even some uh, situations where 
dancers are growing right now and they don't know exactly what size shoe they need. Oh yeah, so of course. Cut to their door a couple of different sizes, pass it over, <laughs> six feet away, and a doorstep fitting, you know, you say like, yes, okay, that one looks good. Let's go with that one. So that oh, wow. way, dancers don't have to worry about what if I get the wrong size and I have to send it back and yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, return. wow. It's a, it's a tough situation to navigate right now. So Absolutely. I'm, you know, approaching it in different ways, uh, you know, <laughs> solutions to this problem that I, I don't think anyone was expecting to have. Um, everyone watching, feel free to share this feed. If you click that paper airplane button down the bottom, you can send the link to everybody so they can check it out. And if you guys could do the same um, from your store on your phone, if you click that paper airplane, you can drop the link so everyone can tune in. Um, cool. And everyone, if you've got questions, as always, drop them in the comments and we'll get round to them. Um, so tell us a bit more about the kind of point shoe fitting service that you offer, um, what kind of dancers you fit, your favorite Nikolai point shoes that you might have. Yeah, absolutely. I did grab a few. Perfect. Uh, and um, in my size, in case I want to put them on. However, I have not been dancing quite as regularly as I used to. Sure. Um, so it's uh, a little bit more painful than it used to be. It's tough <laughs> getting back into a pair of point shoes. Um, but, you know, that dance never really leaves you. So no, no. I'm always happy to get into a, a dance class. Um, absolutely. So, you know, here we've got our, our bar, you know, set up for our point shoe fitting so that we Excellent. can try them on, test on point, no rolling through the store, but yeah, yeah. Uh, we can make sure that um, the shoe is supportive, that it's not painful, it's not too big, not too small, mm -hmm. so we've got that set up, and that's definitely our specialty so that dancers from all over even just California, we've had people come from pretty far away where their dance stores aren't quite as prevalent. <laughs> if there's not a store nearby, um, some dancers will, will drive uh, a couple of hours to come in. And Absolutely. Sure, you know, got the exact right shoe. So important now, to get that correct carry, fit. We do carry more than just Nikolai sure. right now. But, um, I have my own backstory with what was formerly Grifco is that I always wore the Grifco 2007 was uh -huh. my shoe. Once I found that shoe, I was pretty attached to it and uh, it suited my foot really well. So that's, will always have a special place in my heart. Yeah, um, definitely. The new addition, we have the 3007 as a kind of, upgrade to oh that. yeah it's wonderful I love it a lot I definitely like that it's the same essential shoe but with some you know slight differences slight improvements even absolutely you know, the, it's, it's an upgrade <laughs> this heel that has the microfiber to help it grip yes of course That's such a you know I had I have never worn a shoe that had that sort of uh you know, extra special detail. What are your personal um, favorite parts about the new 3007? What do you like about it the most? Um, how... Well, it definitely um, suits my foot shape the best, which is I have a fairly narrow foot and tapered toes. Uh -huh. So I have a staircase toes. My big toe is my biggest toe and they each get smaller and smaller. That's that classic shape. Did that, you uh, uh, notice how different that. the platform is? It's so much more rounded and it's so much easier to balance on, I think, compared to the original. I, I think that they were, you know, especially if you compare it to an, <laughs> other styles of traditional shoes that don't have such a flat platform, you know, some, some shoes that start with S, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> rounded, <laughs> uh, sort of lumpy platform mm. you know any style of Nikolai is going to have a much more stable platform absolutely which value very much to help find stability which mm -hmm. can help whether you're like me maybe you don't have the best arches yeah, I was not blessed with banana feet I've got two biscuits <laughs> so 
um, that can help you find uh, that you are actually getting on. Yeah, I mean, I also found what was great about it is it gets dancers over better in 3007 to 2007. Because in the 2007, in a standard, even in a super soft chunk, I could never get over on it well enough. But in the 3007, I can just wear it out of the bag and I have no issues. It's just amazing. Um, I think the reason for that is obviously the shank is a different shank. It's got a much better roll through. But also it breaks into my arch better. And with the combined with the wider platform, just makes it all work together so much more. So it's great that it, it makes it more of a wearable shoe for more types of feet, I think. Because um, some people were like me that were struggling with the classic 2007. <laughs> yeah, I I know that it, it's, it was a pretty sturdy shoe, which for some dancers, you might really want that, especially because it's not just going to die right away. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, you know, has some durability, especially like this one I'm holding is the, the super soft. And uh -huh. again, it's not... not the softest shoe out there. Let's yeah, say. yeah, no, it's still got um, malleability so that you can break it into your arch, you know, whether you uh, just use your feet to yeah. help mold it. Uh -huh. You can use your hands a little bit to, to get it in there, though I'm a big uh, fan of using your feet more, especially when you're just starting out with a new shoe mm -hmm. so that your foot really knows where that arch is. Absolutely. If you bend it with your hands, your hands don't know where your foot exactly no. is going uh -huh. to that shoe. Very so important. So using your foot to break it in, you really get to know where that shoe maybe needs that little bit of extra bend. Just to give to a bit of advice to the viewers here, if you're not really aware of point shoe fitting itself, um, most everyone's got different feet, obviously, but a lot of dancers have different areas where their arch bends. And for some dancers, their arch can break higher up than other dancers so for example if you was just to grab your shoe and just not look at where you need to break it to suit your arch you might break it too low or too high or not in the, the right spot so you should always look at your foot first and another good tip with that is to put the shoe on your foot and peel the heel back put your foot on point mark with a pencil on the lining of the um shoe so you can feel get that sweet spot of where your arch is and then manually bend it lightly but don't go crazy because you don't want to do it so much that the shoe is like going to be broken but you can gently mold it but however with the Fermo models such as um the super triumph pre-arch and dream point 2007 pre-arch and super triumph standard we don't want to be doing anything with our hands because those shanks are designed to mold by heat um, and are very much ready to wear shanks. I do have the Dream Point 2007, or as it was first known in the US, uh, we were calling it the Allure. Oh, yeah. So uh -huh. I think of it as the Allure <laughs> in my head. So um, the Allure had a, a funny story from a customer who uh, didn't know that it was a thermoplastic shank. Yeah. <laughs> We snapped it. Uh oh. <laughs> I said, oh, no, no. We need to we need to warm that up. Like break out your hair dryer, get it hot, then you can bend it a little oh, bit. Oh goodness. So um now we know that to, to that customer we made sure that <laughs> we try and mention it every time we fit this shoe. Yes, very important. Don't break it with your hands. Because it, it is I love that this one has that already someone top. just said um they ordered a pair of Super Triumphs pre-arched from Grishko before the rebrand, but they never showed up. Well, you probably ordered from Grishko USA, so it's not um, Nikolai's problem. Um, it would be Grishko USA that is the problem there. And as we all know about them, they're producing fake shoes. So <laughs> I would suggest that um, if it was Grishko USA, that you ask to get your money back because it's not good enough that your shoes didn't turn up. Um, and find out what's going on. But it definitely, that would not be um, us as a company that would yeah. do something like that. Um, as for the fakes, have you ever come into contact with the fakes? Um, just a little bit. I haven't had any customer bring them back in physically, but I have had customers who had tried it and said it was not good. It was not a good experience. No, so, very dangerous. You know, it, it, that was a, it, it was an interesting situation. <laughs> um, 
But, you know, especially as someone who I have personally worn the shoes that were made in Russia, that's what is most important to me and what I expect from the Absolutely. shoes. Absolutely. That is what, you know, I want to be able to offer my customers mm -hmm. or even my own feet. I want to say, this is the shoe that we've been accustomed to. Totally. It's so, super scary that they're still existing out there. And I really hope that it's over soon because it's really sad to see dancers thinking that they're, you know, real Grishko Nikolai point shoes when they're obviously not. Um, for you guys that aren't aware, just to let you know, your fake shoes won't say made in Russia on the bottom of the sole. Um, let me just show a close up. Obviously mine, here you go, this one. You'll have Nikolai. Nikolai, Nikolai, sorry, I'm so tired, Jesus. Nikolai, and then you'll have made in Russia. You won't have handmade. You won't have anything crazy else written on them. It will look like this. Um, of course, there are instances where some retailers have got very old stock, which does I do have, have the Grishko <laughs> label and handmade in Russia. Um, this one, like this. And this one still has the Grishko, but it still says made in Russia. So we know uh -huh. it was made in Russia. It's because these are all my size, and I have very narrow feet. Not everybody fits my size, so I still have one. I'm narrow, too. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, so you were single and double X's here. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a single X most of the time, and it's. I wish I, I wish I was a whip up. It would help a lot, actually. Because you know when your shoes, like, break down, they get a little bit wider. And, like, even when you yep. use inlays and whatever trick in the book, they can sometimes still not feel as great as they did when they was new. Um, so was you at the Atlantic Dance Retail Show in LA? Yes, yes. We, ah. we did meet there briefly. Yeah. Oh, cool. We um, did you get to meet Mr. Grishko whilst you was there? Yes. Oh, yes. wow, cool. He, he was very tall and and he said, like, I am Nikolai Grishko. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, he's quite a character for sure. He's yeah, amazing. He's, uh, he's such an icon. <laughs> oh, a little intimidating, actually. But... <laughs> I didn't interact with him very much. <laughs> um, for you guys that didn't know, the Atlantic, da Atlantic Dance Retail Show um, travels around America. Peter can give us more information about it in a, in a message. But I went for the first time this year and it was really cool. And I got to meet a lot of people and do a lot of stuff. Um, so what other uh, point shoes do you have there from us? Um, what other models, some of your favorites? Let's have a little a bit of a talk through still. Yeah, so I've got the, the 3007 in the super soft and medium shanks. Excellent. I also have the uh, Allure or Dream yep. Point uh -huh. 2007 in the medium flexible. Uh huh. I have the miracle in both the light medium and light hard shanks so that uh, love the you know, miracle options oh absolutely miracle is a is a great one um and the nova and nova flex also perfect top, so nice nice sure. combination um, yeah it's yeah. good that i like that the... go on sorry <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that the the regular nova is great for those dancers who who need a little bit more sturdiness in their shoe absolutely you know, if, especially if you're one of those who breaks down shoes a little bit too fast this mm -hmm. will give you a little bit more life absolutely. and then the nova flex is so great i actually i almost wish the nova flex had existed when i started dancing because i don't think it had quite come out yet because i really like how the flex in the shank really helps it especially for someone like me who, who yeah needs a, what I found a little bit more flexibility right there what I found personally is that in 2007 Pro Flex, which was one of the original Pro Flex shank shoes, it was um, it feels a lot more flexible than say Nova Flex. I don't know if I'm correct in thinking that, but that's how it feels to me personally. So it's actually um, I was really happy when Nova Flex came out because it helped me um, have a shoe that you know if people like the Nova, for example, but they even found the Super Soft to be a little bit firm. They really enjoyed the Nova Flex. Um, and also with the Flex shanks, they come in um, different shanks as well, just to let you guys know that are watching that might not be aware of it. Um, so it's great that we have so many shank varieties, which is wonderful because there's so many different types of feet out there. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, it's nice that there's, uh, you know, we've got 
a good variety, but there's always the option to special order just in case of you, course. you know, you like the Nova Flex, but you maybe want it just a little bit softer or a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. You can size in what we have, make sure that it fits well. And we say, okay, let's special order that super soft. Let's get it in. And we have done that for some of the customers. That's great. It's great to know that because sometimes I get dancers come to me that say, oh, you know, I did ask a retailer to get me that shanking, but they wouldn't. Um, I think, you know, as a retailer, we always got to, like, you know, help people out to find their shoe. You know, I think that's our job as a, as a fitter to make sure that we're giving them options um, and not afraid to do custom as well. Because I do a lot of customs. I wear a custom as well. And um, it's great to know that we have that choice. Um, and also with vegan option as well, for example. Um, yeah, just, gonna, just amazing. I was, I was hoping we would talk about the vegan option because around the Bay Area, I'd say there's a pretty high number of vegan dancers and it's really great to know that there are vegan options for shoes and and Nikolai is definitely one of them that has options to order in uh the vegan I think in let me grab one of my vegan right, ones um, any of these could be vegan is that right um so not all of them um the ones that can't be made vegan at the moment are the ones with the hand stitched sole um like Fuate, Triumph, Super Triumph, Pre-Arched. Um, you know that, hey, let me grab one, hang on. So what I mean by the soles, in case people don't know that are watching, a hand-stitched sole looks like this and it's thicker materials. The reason for this is because the layers of the shank are different and they need this kind of material to keep the shanks together. This can't be made vegan at the moment. Um, but the models with the uh, machine stitch sole, like this is a mild bum, this is a vegan sole here, um, can be made vegan. And the materials they use, they used to use a different material, um, which was thicker, but they now use a lovely microfiber, which I'm very pleased about. They changed this a couple of years ago, and it's super soft. Um, and yeah, it's great. And they, we also do vegan slippers, of course, as well. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I have special ordered a couple of vegan shoes, but definitely want to, you know, let dancers know that, you know, straight from Nikolai, we can get in the vegan sole option in case uh, anyone wants to order that. Mm -hmm. you know. Perfect. I've been to San Fran once, but I was only there for two days, unfortunately, so I didn't get to see a great deal. Um <laughs> But I hope to come back again one day. Yeah, absolutely. I really yeah. liked it. It was beautiful. Come by, let me know. And, yeah, uh, that'd be cool. Some vegan food. <laughs> yes, definitely. There was a lot of really cool, quirky places around there to eat at, I noticed, which was fun. Because I love, yeah, where, wherever I travel, I love to, like, try different places for food. I, like, mm -hmm. go on a tour of, <laughs> of eating around. <laughs> Oh, and great coffee. I love to go and try all the different speciality coffee shops as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> if anyone's got questions, we've not had any yet. Um, so pop them in the comment box and we will answer. Hi, Taviani's just joining. Um, please share the feed. Click the paper aeroplane button below and drop it to everybody. Um, so with regards to the current crisis, um, how as a retailer how have you been like dealing with that personally have you been doing like any kind of um discounts or special offers or anything like that anything kind of unique to keep your business kind of going yeah well our online store is always up to date with what we have in stock so dancers can just go straight on there and and place their order we've got our free ship promo on orders over 50 promo code free ship and that way, in case you're either across the country, where we, we have had dancers um, order from almost every single state, um, or uh, whether you're local or maybe just a little bit further out, maybe outer Bay <laughs> area. But within San Francisco, we do have the, the local drop-off option. And that's a new Perfect. one for just during this uh COVID-19 crisis so that it, you can place your order. There's a shipping option called drop off by Rose within San Francisco. <laughs> yes. 
me. Love it. Come come by <laughs> and just drop off your order straight to your door. Um, we've gone around to San Francisco, even South San Francisco, and uh, you can drop off an order of any size. There's no minimum with the local order. So if Perfect. you just need a pair of just slippers, that is totally fine. Excellent. Um, so, you know, having a dance wear store, was it something that you always thought that you would do? I mean, obviously, I know that the original owners retired, but it, was it always something that you dreamed of personally doing? Well, I, I'd go with no. You know, I actually grew up <laughs> dancing from the age of four. And yeah. I, I was dancing uh, actually over in Berkeley, Berkeley uh -huh. Valley Theater, my alma mater. Um, always has a, a special place in my heart. I'm thinking open adult classes there oh nice recently before the shelter in place order and you know I, I was really you know connected to dance for all through high school I went to college for dance Cornish College of the Arts uh-huh you know? oh wow and I, I studied dance there as well and it, it's just such a huge part of my life dancing that when I came back to the Bay Area and I started dancing for professionally um i wanted a you know a job because uh, sometimes dance doesn't always pay the bills no right <laughs> nice dancer. um i wanted a job that would relate to dance somehow so i started working at the uh dance store and it was so great to be able to to talk to dancers about their shoes about um you know what styles they were doing what you know problem solving for if they had uh, you know, uh, a, a bunion, let's get a spacer in there. Do you need a TheraBand to work on your strength? The answer should always be yes. And, <laughs> uh, you know, that was really, really important to me to have such a, a passion for dance, but also helping people. Absolutely. Because, you know, it took, I, it took a couple of years, but once I could sense that the owners of the other store, they were like, mm, I think it's getting time to retire. It, that all sort of snowballed into me kind of turning that into, could I do this? Absolutely. Would I want to open the <laughs> store? And, you know, the timing was right. They were ready to retire. The uh, There was an opening in the market and I just I dove right in kind of head first to to open up a dance store because I, I did it you know without any uh support from that other store I didn't take on any of their um oh wow inventory or you know they they weren't assisting me with that uh -huh. transition so it was really just me diving in oh wow learning a big big learning curve involved there uh, absolutely on, how to find a location, how to hire my employees, how to, you know, uh, start the vendor accounts with, well, everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot involved that people don't realize, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so much happening behind the scenes as well. Um, yes. A lot of behind the scenes work that uh, involved pretty much my entire life <laughs> into, into this. I, I no longer have a social life. I don't do much. I uh, don't have I know. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> just this. <laughs> Hi to everyone who's just joined. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Georgia. Hi, Hope. Um, Emily, everybody who's come in, welcome. Drop your questions below if you've got any. Um, so do you stock any of um, the Nikolai dance wear at all, as, or, is, or you, do you just use shoes right now? Just the shoes right now. I, uh, especially with this transition coming at a time when, uh, you know, I'm still a relatively new of course, store, uh -huh. and, you know, it, it was an interesting situation to, to take on as a, as a new business to have Absolutely. this sort of situation come up of, uh, switching from Grishko to Nikolai, mm -hmm. haven't quite gotten all of the amazing uh, leotards and warm-ups, though we have gotten some a couple of samples, so it's definitely intriguing, and hopefully when this situation of COVID-19 resolves itself, then we'll be able to, to bring in more options of, of you know many different styles of 
leotards and warm ups and everything. I so, think that, um, at, like, when Atlantic everything Dance opens. Retail. Sorry? At the Atlantic Dance Retail Show, we, we saw. Oh, of course. The, of course. Of course. Of course. Like, Ooh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this. <laughs> there was a lot, right? It was crazy. So, uh, it's yeah. so much twist. It's amazing. Um, so with regards to obviously with this lockdown and everything, are you doing any kind of online things um, for dancers that, you know, are desperate for point shoes right now? We have had some dancers who uh, have sent in a couple of photos of their feet and said it's usually most common when um, a dancer is, is still growing. So when mm -hmm. your foot has started to outgrow that shoe, maybe your toes start to crunch up, maybe you get a lot of pressure on the back of your heel and it's digging in or it's slipping off, as mm -hmm. I saw. Um, you know, we've been able to see like, okay, yes, that shoe is a little bit too small. Let's get you into the bigger size. Absolutely. So by sending you photos or videos, we can take a look and make recommendations from there. Perfect. Or as I mentioned earlier, the a sort of local doorstep fitting where I can bring a couple of the sizes, pass them over, stand six feet away. That way the dancer can actually try on the shoe, make sure that it fits, and then we can pick whichever one is the best option. Excellent. Um, so do you have any like future goals with your store? Where do you see yourself um, going in, in the future? Like, do you have any big plans? Um, also, it's cool to get um, the NG generation involved with stores as well. Um, I don't know if you know, but we have, we have an ambassador's page on the website and it shows if you click, it kind of shows which ones are located where. Um, I know that today, actually, Grit and Grace had... Um, Oh my God, I don't know her first name. She's called First Arabesque. That's her username. <laughs> she went there. Um, her mum drove her there. Um, so it's always cool to collaborate with the NG Generation as well um, on some events and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we um, have uh, dabbled in the idea of uh, hopefully when, you know, everyone is back to dancing in studios and uh, we're back to life as normal, we hope that uh, <laughs> we can uh, have fitting days where we can specifically have dancers come in who are intrigued in trying Nikolai products and that way we can uh, have slots set up for yeah. appointments, and, uh, you know, give them that full fitting. Normally we don't actually have appointments uh, uh -huh. here, so that we always have fitters on hand. Um, during our normal business hours, mm -hmm. there's always at least two, three, sometimes four if I'm there too. Nice. Uh, to do fittings. So we're always on hand ready to, to help with the dancers who need uh, a full point of fit. Perfect. And in the future, I'm hoping that um, if we can have uh, either like little pop-up shops or, or mobile fittings perhaps going into the local studios because I know that it can be hard to get all the dancers at once to come in. It might be easier to go with them. So it's definitely something that I've been intrigued by uh, being able to go directly to the studio, especially ones that are a little bit further away from the store. Mm -hmm. and it might be easier to, to go with them. And uh, the local studios especially here in the city, are uh, there are many uh, studios that are very classical ballet emphasis, uh, mm -hmm. like San Francisco Ballet, City Ballet, Academy of Ballet. There's, there's ones that have really high caliber training, and they definitely value having the best shoe options. So Absolutely. Make sure that their dancers are in the best shoes. Is, uh, I just valuable. thought of... Um... A group, uh, NG generation uh, participant who lives um, local to you actually um, and that's Kay Lanny Kay, Kay La oh my god I always pronounce her name wrong for some reason which is ridiculous because I had her on a stream the other day and my pronunciation was spot on it's Kay Lani Kay Lani that's it Kay Lani yeah and um, yeah she's local to you um, so you guys could probably collaborate in the future as well sorry guys I'm so like tired today that my words are coming out all over the place <laughs> <laughs> oh boy um so 
do you have anything you'd like to talk about perhaps any um thing you'd like to add to this stream um no one's asked us questions what is wrong with you guys come on <laughs> well i would like to be able to i think probably you have and i unfortunately don't have a, a sample of the <clears throat> smart oh yes of course let me grab one hang on one because it was definitely one that we did see a sample, but we really liked it. So it's, uh -huh. it's one to consider to, to bring in, hopefully, when we are back up and running. It would definitely be a nice one uh, to bring in. Mm -hmm. I, I'd love it if you could uh, talk about how it, it's on its own last. It's of its course. Own unique. So here it is. Um, some of you who are watching might have seen it before. Some of you might not. It's built on its own last. So if you don't know much about Rishko or Nikolai point shoes, um, we have different lasts and this one is its own last. Whereas for example, the 2007 model has different shoes um, made on that same last. Um, someone's just asked a question. Um, I'll get back to you in a sec. Uh, so with smart point, the idea behind it being smart is the fact that we have a very adaptive paste in the box if you can see it's got a nice flexibility it kind of feels like nova paste but it's also um it takes more shape to the foot quicker so it really molds to the foot faster so you're not going to get that kind of you know with some point shoes you put them on it takes a bit of time for the paste to really take that shape but also it flexes back so you know if a dancer has worn it for a couple of hours and she takes it off, it kind of bounces back to its form again. It's also quite low profile, as you can see. So great for those dancers that do not have a higher profile foot. But also what is wonderful about it is the shank is extremely flexible. This is a medium. As you can see, it's got a lot of three quarter <coughs> flexibility there and a super easy roll through. Um, initially it was designed because we wanted to bring out a shoe that works on the more kind of today's foot. And what I mean by that is feet that are not necessarily hyper flexible, not, you know, um, high arch dancers that want to showcase their feet to their best, but also get them over onto point enough. It has a medium vamp with a semi V shape. So it's quite a pretty line. So it elongates the foot um, with wider feet by having this kind of semi V vamp. It gives the illusion of the foot being slimmer. Um, which is really nice because some dancers with wider feet get a bit kind of insecure about their feet being very broad. Um, and sometimes, you know, they'll say, oh, but my feet are really wide. They're not going to look pretty. And it's like, if you get the right shoe on someone, it always makes a world of good and makes it look beautiful. Um, so it's lovely to have that. Next up, um, the shanks come in super soft to super hard. So massive variety. The platform feels like Nova. It's very oval and very balanced. I don't know if you guys can see this. So it's a really nice shoe for balance as well. Um, you can put all, all kinds of level of dancer in it really. I've had beginners in it and even dancers that are in full-time training that liked it also. It does have a very low side quarter. Um, the idea is, is by having it lower here, it showcases more of the arch a scoop heel, and it also features the microfiber lining that we have in 3007. So that heel grip ability. Again, it's a very smooth satin, <clears throat> so it looks very pretty on the foot, no necessary like wrinkles. High wings, so it gives good support the sides of the foot there. Um, it's a good all-rounder shoe, I think, personally. Um, even on narrow feet, it can work. So it's a good one to stock because you know that you're going to be able to make it work on a good variety of feet. Feet I'd say it wouldn't work on would be like high arch. If someone's got a really high arch, they're probably not. It's probably not going to be the shoe for them because one, it's a little bit low in the van. Two, it's obviously a very generous bendy shoe. Unless they've got the strength to go with their high arches and flexibility, then they might be able to make it work. But on everybody else, it's a great all-rounder shoe um yeah <laughs> yeah i think it, it, it's such a great uh idea to have all the different shapes you know to have all the oh way god absolutely mm -hmm. definitely me i have a very flat 
low foot. There's not a lot of meat on uh-huh. my foot. It's very low to the ground, and I don't have any gorgeous high instep. Um, so to have all those different shapes so that when you do have a higher instep, you can go with a shoe that has that higher profile, higher crown. And, you know, to find that perfect shoe sometimes can take a little while. But Absolutely. Who are, are dedicated to spending however much time that is. You know, we've had some dancers who have what we would call a, a tricky foot. You know, mm-hmm. maybe they have some crazy feet that are a little twisty. Sometimes when you've got those beautiful feet, the shape yep. tends to twist. Absolutely. So <laughs> I have spent, and some of my other fitters have spent at least an hour, sometimes more, sometimes a little less, but, you know, to make sure that we found that exact It's got to be right perfect. Move. It can, can sometimes take time to actually Absolutely. go work with that problem mm-hmm. and, and solve it. It's like kind of solving a puzzle. And, it, you know, sometimes we compare it to, um, I don't know, you're a fan of Harry Potter, but, like, you know, <laughs> perfect wand. Yeah, a lot of my um, dancers that come to me say it's like that. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, however many shoes, however many wands, we are prepared Funny. to spend that time exactly. to make sure that you go away. With it's important. Shoe, you know? It really is and important. That's, I mean, I know that... Um, Sometimes some other retailers or sometimes mobile fitters, I don't know if you do this, but, you know, they'll make appointments. And sometimes the appointment is for as little as only like 15 minutes. And it's crazy. I, you can't fit point shoes in 15 minutes, in my opinion. You really it's can't. It's not enough time. No way. Really Absolutely not. Guarantee. I don't know how they do it. I just don't know you how know, they do we, it. We need more time. So I, we don't set specific times for, for fittings. We recommend that the dancer allow at least an hour for a fitting. Yes, you know, I, if, I always if, do an hour minimum, personally. Yeah, if it's their first <laughs> pair, uh, <laughs> unless they have, like, the easiest foot ever, if maybe you like, Oh, yeah, one. sometimes you're lucky you get that one that takes, like, 40 minutes, and you're like, oh, wow, that was quick. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes it's, it can be quick, especially I actually love it when I find another dancer who has a foot that looks like mine. I'm like, ah! Yes, I have your feet. I know exactly what you need. <laughs> that way I can, you know, limit it to just maybe three shoes that I know. Yeah, work sure. For them. Like, yes, the miracle. That's the one. It's miraculous. We love it. So sometimes that can be much easier. But for when there is a dancer who maybe has feet that don't work uh, in every single shoe, we want to make sure that we spend that time with the dancer. Definitely. I on the shoes. You know, maybe adding a spacer or a box liner or, or something to, to make it work for them. Definitely. You know, it, you know, maybe it is a Nikolai, maybe it is a different brand, but, you know, whatever that shoe is, you know, we are dedicated in trying to take that time to make sure that you have that <laughs> So there's a question. Um, would you say Nikolai sizing, Nikolai sizing be compared to the Grishko? Made in Russia, <clears throat> authentic Nikolai point shoes are now called Nikolai in USA. Please don't get them confused. In America, yes, there is, you know, fake Grishkos going around, which we spoke about earlier. But um, our shoes have remained the same. We have the same technologies, the same cobblers in Russia, the same sizings that we've always had. The sizings have not changed. Okay, some of the models fit different. I don't know if you know that, but some of them do. But we have not changed anything about the sizing. So if you're getting the real deal, they will fit like the the real shoes. Um, so really, if you're in America, please be aware. Um, you can check our posts on social media all about the details and what to look for if you're not sure. Um Someone said, is the smart point fairly quiet? So it's a very lightweight shoe. I would say it's pretty quiet because of the lightweight paste. Um, And some of our shoes have um, silent knot, which means in the pleats and platform, it's much more quiet. So it has sound absorption. Also, the pro option has that. And models that have that anyways are Super Triumph, Super Triumph Pre-Arch, Dream Point, Dream Point Pre-Arch, Dream Point 2007, sorry, also known as Ella. Yeah. Any more questions? Pop them in. We'd be happy to answer. 
Um, and so, oh yeah, someone's asked about the sizing from 2007 to 3007. It's the same. Um, so yeah, whatever you wore in the 2007, you're going to wear in the 3007. I, I proved that myself here with this was always my size, the, the six double X in the 2007. And this is a 3007. Oh, pull it on. Yeah. Let's see. I'm curious. To like, I like to see shoes on other people. It's just perfect. Toes are long. That's, that's always my size. So nice. that's the 3007 with the uh, microfiber in the heel to help hold on. Just need some elastic and ribbon. That's good. Um, Nikolai, don't sell liners at the moment. It's something that I wanted to ask Mr. Grishko, actually. Um, so <laughs> basically, when we're speaking about liners, they're like box liners that um, we sometimes put in the box to take it down in between sizes. Or if someone's got a compressible foot, they really help as well. I personally have to wear them when my shoe starts to break down. It helps me a lot. It'd be, it would be great if Grishko could, or Nikolai, sorry, could sell them. Um, so maybe that'd be wonderful. Um, for them to do absolutely um and don't forget that we sell many accessories loads of different types of ribbons elastics other toe pads um go on the website um you'll see everything and also go to your local nikolai retailer we've actually got on the website a retailer list where you can discover your nearest retailer um and of course if you're in the san francisco area you know where to go <laughs> Yeah, hey. and, you know, right now, we, although we're closed, you know, we, our shelter in place uh, has been going on for, since uh, March 17th now, so, you know, all the dancers in the area are, you know, dancing at home, itching to get back into the studio, it's, it's been really hard, so I have been so appreciative of my customers who have, you know, reached out and said, oh, I want to help support you guys during this time I'm going to order online or you know they emailed me saying oh like I uh, want to order this but it says you're out of stock and I order it and I'm like yes of course let's get that in for you so definitely really big shout out and thank you to my local customers who are supporting me during this time it it, it is so greatly appreciated always shop um, local guys don't think yes, about you know local. gotta keep these small businesses going <laughs> So always shop local where you can. It's important. Um, anyone else got any questions? Feel free to drop them in um, and we will get round to them. I'm just thinking of some other things I could mention that I've not mentioned before on streams, possibly. Let's think about that. Um, do you have any other shoes that you'd like me to go through that maybe you don't know about, perhaps? Oh, also, I forgot something. Um, we've started doing seminars on the retailers group on Nikolai um, World retailers community on facebook so any retailers watching that are in america you can come and join and we're doing seminars we just did one yesterday which was super intricate um and we're going to do ones on different topics um and it's great for you guys to then get um a chance to look at all the product ranges and the clothes that we do um yeah so do drop by for that um sorry what were you going to say before i butted in <laughs> <laughs> what was I gonna say? Yeah, um, what was you gonna say? I think I think we were just talking about uh, the shopping local and yes. uh, to to support your small business is so appreciated right now since absolutely it's been a huge struggle to you know be closed right now. It's such a different world that we're living in right now. So it, any order, however small, however big, is so appreciated. Whether you order online or um, you can always still call and leave a voicemail. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> I'm not really here in this door to, to pick up the phone. <laughs> um, but uh, anyone can always uh, order online or email info at sfdancegear.com in case you have any questions about whether something is in stock or a special order, maybe something that uh, we haven't always carried, but mm -hmm. you'd be uh, wanting to get. So uh, info at sfdancegear.com has been a great way to get in touch because I can answer that email from anywhere. Exactly. It's a lot easier. 
Um, Georgia, who is a NG Generation participant from Scotland, who I've met before, is watching. Hi, Georgia. Um, she says, when did you first discover Grishko Nikolai? Um, what was, because we, we spoke about you wore 2007s, right? When did you like first start wearing them, for example? Or how did you discover the brands in general? Yeah, I, I first started wearing uh, 2007 when I was dancing uh, in high school. Um, or possibly even middle school was probably when I very first started point work. Though I, I don't think it was the very first shoe that I tried. Uh -huh. But uh, it, it must have been at the, the local store in Oakland, uh, near Berkeley, where I grew up. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, you know, 2007 was just such a perfect fit for my foot that, you know, once I tried it, I had always worn that shoe. So it's, Oh gosh, when was that? I mean, it must have been around 2005. Amazing, I say, cool. It's been, it's been quite some time now uh, from when I was first introduced to that shoe. So I have had a, a you know, a definite, you know, a, a lovely place in my heart for absolutely life. It's amazing so, how um, the brand has evolved as well. It always stuns me, like, how there's always great new ideas. New The collections always blow my mind. Like, I just can't believe, like, how many options advanced where there actually is. Um, and the colours and the fabrics. Um, hi, Tamara. Tamara's on here, too. Um, oh, um, someone said, do you carry the new Academy collection? Um, Nora. Nora says this. She's, I believe she's also part of NG Generation, if I remember rightly. Um, is that, uh, is that a, a leotard collection? Oh, uh, yeah. So it's um, a collection they bought out of dancewear that um, is basically the uniforms that Bolshoi Academy and Vaganova Academy wear, I believe. Um, so they've been developed with those academies to produce dancewear that not only flatters like students who are training, but shows off the vital areas that teachers look at when the student is dancing, if that makes sense. So like shoulders, um, hips, you, you know, leg line. It's really beautifully cut. Um, and it comes in child's and adult sizes. And there's many different colours um, and different leotards and skirts and character skirts. Um, and it's, it's really beautiful. Um, if you guys aren't aware of it, you can go on the website to view it all. There's catalogues on there as well. Um, yeah, it's it's a great collection. Um, Nora, I think, just joined the stream recently. Um, so hi. And any other questions, feel free to pop them in and we will get round to them. Um, so when did you last dance? Was it a while ago? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, I'm in my house, I've been, I've been doing a, a little bit of yoga because I'm actually oh, yeah, a certified cool. instructor. Oh, ah as well so i was teaching yoga until the shelter in place order oh so nice giving myself some yoga classes and uh some you know small workouts it's hard to dance when you don't have the full studio I so feel you. the last time i took a uh, dance class was before the shelter in place so it's been since march since i really you know was in a ballet class um at uh, my old mm -hmm. alma mater at Berkeley Valley Theater uh, with uh, Christopher Lamb, lovely teacher. He's great. So Fabulous. Julia. Uh, Hi, Julia. Julia has asked, are stretch canvas ballet flats popular in San Francisco? So I've got the dream stretch, also known as the stretch tech here. This is my own personal one. It's a bit tatty. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but if you guys don't know, the dream stretch tech, stretch tech shoe is very popular. Um, I sell a lot of these myself. We're also um, working on a model with a lower vamp because I get mine custom at the moment with a shorter vamp because um, I like a shorter vamp on my slippers. But there's, um, if you guys didn't know who are watching, we do an astonishing range of ballet slippers for, of course, not just girls, but guys as well in many different types of fabrics, fit sole, full sole, um, kids as well, of course and different colors you can have vegan these are vegan um yeah what have you got there i i don't actually have the the stretch um nikolai yet 
you know, I, I might. I do have some other stretch options because, of course, those are very popular. I am a big fan of how well they form to the foot. Since I have a narrow, not that archy foot, uh, in a standard canvas, I tend to get some gapping. So um, I know, I feel you. Yeah. Um, stretch, I, I, I've never gone back. I love the, the stretch, even though since the material is a little thinner, it does tend to break down a bit faster oh, wow. than, say, your traditional canvas, which I do have the Nikolai uh, Tempo. Um, oh, yes, I like Tempo. I've got that one here cinch. as well, actually. Yeah, the cinch at the bottom helps pull into the arch, so it really snugs up in there. And it is a durable standard canvas, so it does tend to last a little bit longer than a stretch canvas yes. shoe. Um, well, that actually, is, with the Dream Stretch, or known as Stretch Tech, um, I found it extremely durable compared to some other brands that I tried, which I was glad about, because I was going through a pair of slippers like every three months, and I don't, I don't do like tons of classes, um, whereas I can get sometimes a whole year out of a pair of Dream Stretch um, at, say, two to three classes a week. Um, I've got one of my own on right now. Oops. I'm going to have to flip my camera. Hang on. So this is um, the Dream Stretch. And I have mine just cut down a little bit. I've got like a narrower foot, as you can see, um, with the vegan sole. I really like the fact that even when I'm on Demi, I don't get that funky gap that I sometimes get in other slippers. Um, yeah. So that's one of my yeah. popular ones. Also, I sell a lot of um, Synergy slipper as well. And Peter's just reminds me that next week we are going to have a seminar on the retailer seminar, um, all about featuring some of the ballet slippers, which would be great because we can get a chance to really show people the varieties available. Yeah, I should mention for, you know, any of my local customers who uh, might want to try um, the Tempo, it is available to order, special order in the vegan. Absolutely. Um, in case you do want an option that is available in a vegan shoe, this is one of the ones that we can order in for you. Uh, we have had some special order uh, vegan slippers and point shoes, so that's... Perfect. It is a nice option in case you do want. Uh, it really is. Because you know what also I love is the fact that with some other brands, they only offer one model in vegan. That's ridiculous. We're not all going to be able to wear the same model of slipper. <laughs> there are so many attributes to finding the perfect fitting slipper. Um, and everyone likes different things as well. You know, some people want a drawstring. Some people don't. Some people want, um, you know, satin as well. Um, I have to say that satin is not as popular in, I, maybe not this area, but in the U.S. in general. I yeah, no, it, it's it, not. Much more to go yeah. with satin. It's probably we, more of a British European. Yeah, thing. we get it a lot. The reason why we get it a lot is, um, for example, with Royal Academy of Dance, it's required right. to wear satin in the younger grades. Um, they're not allowed to wear anything else. Um, so that's why it's kind of popular in England. Um, but it's really fascinating seeing like what different countries have. Um, we've got two minutes left on this stream. Um, let's promote your website, your phone number, email address, social media. Um, tell us all about it and where to find you. Yeah, so you can go on our website to place online orders and learn more about us at sfdancegear.com. You can always email if you have questions, info at sfdancegear.com or call, leave a voicemail, 415. What is my number? 415. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Don't worry. I haven't said it in a while, you know? Yeah, okay. 415 901 3491. Or follow us on Instagram. Yeah, give them a SF follow Dance after this Dance stream, you guys. And uh, yeah. Mr. Grishko was just reminding Georgia about the fact that we produce many uh, point shoes and soft shoes with vegan salt. We do indeed. And I'm hoping to refit Georgia very soon, actually, once lockdown is over. Because um, obviously I'm vegan, Georgia's vegan, it's great. <laughs> 
Um, anyway, it's enough blabbing on. So I'm going to save the stream. If everyone that's missed the rest of it, I will upload it to Facebook and also to the IGTV. Um, it's been wonderful chatting to you. I'm sure we'll do another um, drop in like within a few weeks as well, because it's nice to come back to retailers to talk about different topics. And you know, what? once lockdown is over, we can then have dancers and actually show things and it'd be really fun. <laughs> yeah, um, absolutely. Great. Thanks everyone for joining in. Give um give them a follow on their Insta after this. And we've got seven seconds to go. So bye. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. bye. Thank you.